tomorrow. So just be prepared. You've had a little bit of a taste of it. We've got those showers that were shifting on towards the west. The sea breeze was trying to push them back, but those showers that did form east of I-75 just kept coming on down. And so they finally all met right along that coastline. And we're going to see the same thing developing for tomorrow with those late day showers taking place. And we've got a couple of systems that are going on right now across the country. Over the central part of the nation, we've got a low pressure center. You can see that here with the trailing cold front and then we have a stationary front over central Florida which is going to come back at us and it is going to be moving on up towards the north as a warm front tomorrow and so that will help to bring in even more moisture and so things are going to get a little stickier tomorrow and we'll get those late day showers but tonight we had the rain that you can see just exploded right here along the coastline and so most of the showers developing east of I-75 pushing towards towards the coast and then the sea breeze is keeping everything right here in check along the west coast and then that all moved out into the Gulf of Mexico. So right now we're looking at fair skies to partly cloudy skies. We're going to continue to see clearing conditions and most of the rain has come to an end. But we had some very impressive amounts of rain that did take place over four inches well to the north of us just around the northern sections of Pinellas County and then you can see down down to the south in Charlotte County, we had almost two inches of rain, an inch and a half in, uh, of rain just to the southeast of Charlotte Harbor. And then even in Lee County near Fort Myers, over two and a half inches of rain. And then the rest of us coming in with much lesser amounts. So that was what was happening in some places getting absolutely no rain. So for the overnight time period tonight, we're really not expecting to see anything. We may get some showers early in the morning, just a 20% chance. And then what's going to happen tomorrow is that that warm front lifts to the north and we're getting, uh, going to get all of that warm air coming on in from the south and that's going to help to juice things up during the afternoon hours and then in addition to that we've got a cold front that's moving across the country and that front a uh, frontal system is going to be moving into our area by Monday so again on Monday we have another opportunity for rain that warm front moving on up bringing about more moisture for us plenty of southerly winds and that's going to help to set off those showers and then we have the cold front coming through on Monday and that's going to give us an even better chance of rain. So over the next couple of days we've got rain developing during the late afternoon hours tomorrow. It will continue throughout the day on Monday and then on Tuesday morning just in time for your morning commute that's going to be a really good chance that we're going to see some showers developing. Winds are going to be coming in out of the east for the most part and this is true all the way down the coastline and we're going to continue to see those winds staying at just a little bit above 10 miles per hour and as you can see temperatures right now are mostly in the 70s. Our seven day forecast is showing that rain is definitely factored in here. We've got a 30% chance of showers tomorrow, a 50% on Monday, 70%. That's our first alert day is going to be on Tuesday, especially during the morning hours for your morning commute. And then after that, that front comes through, clears things out, dries things up and cools us off just a little bit. Adam?